Good morning everyone, it's Tracy from Lotus Heart Crystals and Healing. Today I am doing a video on how to read the cards. I have been a reader since around 2011 and I predominantly read the Angel Cards um, and Tarot. Uh, the majority of cards that I read are by Dorian Virtue and Radley Valentine. Um, but I wanted to explain to you just very simply, if you've never read the cards before, what I'm going to teach you now is a wonderful way to learn how to enhance your intuition and your clairvoyance with these tools. The cards are merely just tools. You know, a lot of us just have natural gifts, but we need something like a card to help us focus on getting messages through. So. For beginners cards, I would recommend these cards, which are by Darwin Virtue, and they are messages from your angel oracle cards. They're also very gentle and loving cards. So the first thing you do when you receive or buy a deck, this is if you buy a deck um, in person, as, as soon as you hold that deck, that deck holds your energy, contains your energy. Or if you receive it by post, this is what you need to do. Knock on, now a majority of the books will give you guidance on how to use your cards and what to do with your cards beforehand. But what we do is we knock into the cards. This just basically disperses all the bad energy from the cards. Open up your card pack. It comes with a little guidance book, which will explain everything about the meaning of the cards in the deck. A lot of decks contain, um, well, 48 cards. Um, this card deck, actually not too sure what it says, sometimes 32 cards, um, but majority are 48 cards. Um, what you're going to do, you can either sage your card deck to remove all the negative energies, you know, from processing, from the manufacturing um, process. So you can sage, sage the deck. Um, you can then knock again on with the full pack of cards. Um, I will talk to you about storage later. But what you need to do is when, when the deck comes to you, the cards are really stiff um, and hard. So, you know, it would it's nice for you to go through the deck one by one, so one card individually. Um, just have a get a feeling of the individual cards. You just, just go through the deck individually, have a look, get a feeling of the cards. So you go each one of them one by one. Look at the pictures and, and, and what they say in the description. So basically you imprinting your energy onto the cards, which will make it easier for you to read for others or for yourself. Now, if you are new to card reading, I always advise people to read the cards for themselves. This could be you could pick a card a day, a card a week, or you could do several spreads. Now, obviously, with card reading, you can, there's, you can do it one card message a day, or you could do three card readings, which is past, present, future. Or you could go into more complex readings like a Celtic Cross reading, which goes into more in-depth readings about your past, your future the outcome, etc., on a particular question. But if it's if it's something that you just want like a general reading, a one card reading is fine. So once you've gone through all these cards, you can then give the cards a shuffle. And whilst you are shuffling, intuitively think in your mind what it is that you want to ask the cards. If you don't want to ask the cards anything, just keep your blank your, your mind blank and then just shuffle your cards we all have different ways in which we shuffle for the, the smaller decks I will shuffle with two hands and I will get a message intuitively to stop shuffling and then I'll be able to pick a card but I will show you with my other card deck which contains a 78 card deck, which is the Angel Tarot, which is what I use professionally for my professional readings. 
Um, and it's very hard to shuffle a 78 card deck. So I do it completely different to how I shuffle a 48 card deck. So yeah, we get the, we get now I get told intuitively to stop shuffling. Now I'm going to pick the cards. The way you can pick your cards is you can open them out like a fan and you are drawn to a particular card or you can shuffle them like this. You can just take a couple like this and have a look and see what you're drawn to. And this is something that I prefer because obviously I use the Angel Tarot a lot in my work and it's just easier to shuffle, shuffle the cards that way. So I'm instantly drawn to a card in the deck and I'm going to pick it out. And let's see what messages it brings. So you put the other cards to the side back in the deck. Now, every card contains symbolism from birds because birds symbolize peace, flight, freedom, um, to many to many other things, to other symbolism. And when you start reading for yourself, you'll you'll learn, you'll get to know the symbolism in in cards. Um, and this is about using your intuition. Um, and your intuition is the messages that you are receiving from your guides and angels or spirits. Okay, so the, the card I picked was Francesca. Sorry, there we go. And the message on the card says, what do you desire right now? Visualize it and it will come about. Negativity will block your progress. Now, this is a very apt card for me. Um, the color is blue. So blue symbolizes um, communication through the through the, the throat chakra. And and the, in this they saying visualize. So I need to visualize. I need to express my thoughts in a positive manner. This is through the communication center. And we're looking at the picture now. There are parrots. So obviously parrots talk, don't they? They are very good at communicating. And um, the parrots are green, so that also brings in healing because green is a healing color. We also have lilies, which bring um, peace. Um, white represents new beginnings. Um, and we have a lady who is painting. Um, and, and basically she's, she's painting what she wants in her life. It's like you, your thoughts, your, your words, your actions all help in manifesting what you want in your life. So this lady is painting a lovely lily. And the lily represents rebirth, new beginnings, um, a white slate, etc., etc. Now she's an angel, and um, her her wings are, are up, spread up, which which basically to me represents uh, confidence. Um, and there's also a lovely moon, and the moon is intuition. So it's about using your intuition. Um, to um, to help you manifest and to um, think carefully about what you want in your life. Um, so the moon, um, the moon goddess. Um, also, you can manifest at new moon, where you charge your crystals and you manifest at new moon. And you, a full moon is when you. Um, recharge everything, you um, reaffirm everything in your life. Um, so the, the, sim, the symbols are amazing. And every time I read professionally for somebody, something new will come from that card. And some cards are more detailed than others. So what I've just re re basically got from this card is, is that information. So we're going to actually look in the booklet and see what the booklet says about Francesca. It's been a very long time since I've actually read these cards. So everything is in alphabetical order in the book. So Francesca, you have been asking God and the angels, what is next for me? Yes, we have been waiting for you to make that decision for yourself. This, that is why you have felt stuck lately. 
This impasse occurs because you are afraid of making a wrong decision. We can help you to decide, but ultimately the next chapter of your life is up to you. This is a period of your life that is unscripted. Your desires are like a painting that you create upon the canvas of your life. Like an artist, you must decide what the theme, background and foreground will be within your picture. Take some time out to meditate, pray upon and to contemplate this important decision. Be creative and maintain stand standards for yourself. But remember, if you don't make a decision, that's the same thing as deciding that everything shall remain the same. So that's purely what the book says. But what how you interpret it may be different to somebody completely someone else. So you've interpreted the card for yourself as that. And the the messages in the booklet are just guidance, are just guidance. So I advise you to read, take, draw a card once a day, leave your deck out in a lovely place like I keep my deck on an altar and how to store your cards. You can either keep them in the box that it comes in or you, you can actually buy online tarot bags. You can, it's, it's actually nicer to actually keep your cards in a lovely cloth bag. I have several cloth bags and you can also keep a little crystal like quartz crystals lovely because it cleanses the cards and actually I keep my cards out on my altar and to cleanse the cards because obviously when you're using the cards you're putting in your energy into these cards. If you've had a bad day, everything from that bad day, the energy from that bad day or if you've had an argument is going to go into those cards so they need cleansing and clearing. And it should be done on a regular basis. But I keep my cards in, in the box when I do my daily readings. And I put this crystal, which is a beautiful Lemurian crystal, on top of um, on top of the box to cleanse. And it's also in the sunlight as well. And the sunlight is very energizing. So that crystal... Um, I just want to also share with you the, the tarot, the angel tarot cards. They are very much more detailed. Um, I actually went on a course to do, I went on two courses um, to learn the angel tarot um, and the symbolism, etc. And this is what I use professionally. And this is a massive 78 card deck, which is quite difficult to shuffle. Now, another thing I forgot to mention is, when you use the cards, sometimes cards will just fly out the deck. And it basically means that um, the card is meant to be read. So you pick that card up and it could be an additional card to the one that you've chosen. But this deck is really, really thick. And how I shuffle the, the deck is like this. So I'm basically shuffling like that, cards like that. That is how I shuffle the cards. And just for an example, I will pick a card from this deck to show you the beautiful symbolism on it. And it also works on the elements like water, fire, earth and air, which mean different things. So we'll just pick a card. And there is one peeking out of there. And another thing I need to talk to you about is you've got to completely trust in your abilities to read the cards. Um, if, you st if doubt starts to get in, then everything is coming from ego. So you've got to try and release that ego. The best time to actually read is when you're very, very tired because your ego is tired and your ego goes out the window. Um, and that's when you get a lot of information. So you've got to trust in your abilities and trust what comes to you. Whatever comes into your head is is what the card is trying to say. Um, so I've picked up Six of Air. And this is the card. A unicorn or a horse that's in a boat. That's, and then you've got a little waterfall. So basically it's saying things are looking up, the end of a difficult situation, taking a trip. Um, and it basically is, it shows like all the horses in the background are um, seem to be quite erratic. So it seems like there have been challenging times, which for me in my life, I have had a few ch health challenges and everything seems to be looking up at the moment. So it's a wonderful confirmation card for me. Um, the, the boat is heading forward. So that means that 
it's the end of the difficult situation and um, there's, there's lots of greenery at the front as well which represents growth um, compared to the background which seems to be a little bit of a whirlwind so there's a little bit of a whirlwind in the picture I'm not too sure if you can see but there's a bit of you know the, the artist um, who is Stephen I think artwork Steve A Roberts absolutely fantastic um, symbolism is amazing when you look closer into a card I mean I've actually looked into the card now and I, I've never seen this before but I've actually seen a palm tree and that reminds me of Hawaii, somewhere exotic. So, you know, I'd love to go on holiday somewhere exotic. So, um, and and the water's flowing. So that just means that you you are back into the into your life where everything's flowing as it should. So I'm going to leave that with you. I might perhaps make another video if if you all want me to, but this is just a little introductory bit, um, video on how to read the cards if you are a newbie. Thank you very much.